about the uh, the emotions of, of surviving this one and, and what it meant for you guys? Um, it meant a lot to get our first win as a team. Um, our first one for our coach, Coach Tagger, and now we got uh, some momentum going into week three. Um, it feels good to get our, any win is a good win, no matter who you're playing. You think, uh, considering the way that the game played out, is it going to be one you, you kind of push aside or you spend more time thinking about this one? Oh, we always, um, we're going to get the mistakes corrected. We're going to go out and practice and we're going to execute all the mistakes that we made and fix them. You know, we always hear about offensive line. They, they need continuity. They need to play by each other to, to get comfortable. But it seemed like it, towards the end of the game when you just kind of had you guys coming in and out, that's when you guys found your group. What was it about the offensive line that they were able to step up? And we just had a couple of guys cramping up, but I feel like my whole line played tremendous in, in big moments. Um, a, a, a couple of penalties here and there, but when they need, when we needed a play to be made, those guys held up. They blocked, and Coach T called great plays. And we, as skilled players, executed. And the only way we could execute it was for our, was from our own line. So they did a great job. How did you spend the, the time with the weather delay? And, and did it make it tough with the anticipation of when you thought you'd get out there and then have to wait? No, it didn't make it tough. We just stayed mellow, stayed in the locker room, um, talked a lot, laughed a lot, you know, stayed grounded, didn't get too high, didn't get too low. What are some things you told your teammates during halftime? Um, let's keep executing. Let's stop leaving plays on the field. This team, this team can't play with us. Um, let's continue to, to do well. Let's continue to do what we do well and do it better. And, you know, they, they had a great defense. They came prepared and um, all tools to Sam, Sanford, and they hit hard. So those guys were well prepared. How satisfying or relieving was it to hit Trey for that touchdown and, and take the lead? It was very satisfying. That's the play that we worked on. And Coach C called it in the right moment. Trey ran a great route. The line blocked great. I didn't even get touched that play. And we executed it. That's what we need to do. What do you do as a quarterback when a guy drops one and you want to keep him in it? I just pat him on the back. They, when the guy drops the ball, he's getting enough from the sideline, enough from the fans, enough from the critics. But if I can go up to him and let him know that I'm coming back to you, don't worry about that drop. Then that, that'll give him short-term memory, and he's going to catch the next one. We started a little bit tonight. Talk but about your um, first rush touchdown tonight. How did you feel about that? I felt good. I felt great. Coach T caught a great play again. We were moving fast. And, you know, it just felt good to run the end zone again and do my little dance. We saw a little bit tonight, but what can Trey bring to the offense? Um, vertical threat. He can block. And he can catch. He's a big body. And so he's an easy target to throw to. You guys have 10 more games, you know, maybe 11 if things go right for you. I mean, does this team have an identity yet, or is that something that you, you just develop over a season? We continue to develop our identity, and tonight we fought back. Um, no matter who you're playing, it's always tough to win a game in college football. And tonight I seen something from my teammates that, that I didn't see before, and that was fight. And no matter what, we're going to stick together, and we fought tonight. So our identity is on the way. DeAndre, what did Coach Tagger tell you when you guys were walking off the field? Yeah. He was just telling, telling me um, to continue to fight, continue to be a leader. And he told me I did a great job of leading tonight. And um, that, you know, the guys look up to me and I, I got to continue to lead these guys because whatever I say, whatever I do, if they're going to watch my body language, they're going to watch what I say. So I need to continue to be the leader that I know I can be. Was this the best game you've ever played personally, do you think? I didn't look, I don't, I don't know. I'm just happy we won. It's not about me. I, I played plenty of college football games. It's, it's for the seniors. It's for the guys who put their hearts on the line out there. I don't care about what I do. You guys looking forward at all to getting on the road and just kind of changing up the scene a little bit? Yeah, I'm, I look forward to playing football. Trey, Trey McKitty said that Blackburn was on the sidelines boosting people's energy and all that. So what does that say about him and him being your, the backup quarterback? Blackburn, he's a great guy. Um, he, he's in my ear, um, and it reminds me of when I was hurt and when we were going through growing pains last year. And when he was playing, I would always stay in his ear. So he's doing the same thing to me, and I appreciate that from him. And he's one of the guys on the sideline who's keeping everybody up. When things go bad, when we go through adversity, he's always there keeping guys up. And he's helping me a lot because it's hard to do it by yourself sometimes. And James always got, got my back, and he's always by my side, and he's always helping me keep guys up. And, you know, you, sometimes <clears throat> you have guys that are down and guys that are in a slump, and James is always there to pick them up. And, and he's just a great person and a great teammate. I know you're on offense, but what do you think about the, the, the secure the bag, the uh, the turnover backpack? Was that something you guys voted on? or? Yeah, that's something the defense thought of, and I like it a lot. You know, tonight they secured the bag, and Levante did a great job to seal the game, and that's the true definition of securing a bag. A couple more. 
Jeff Green, with all the adversity you went through last season, how did it help train you for a moment like tonight when you guys are trailing an FCS team at halftime and you're able to motivate your team to come back for a big victory? Um, really just cherishing the moments you have out there on the football field. I was telling um, some of my old linemen that I wasn't playing last year, and now that I'm playing, let's play every play like it's our last. You know, this game could be taken away from you at any moment. Um, I told him at halftime, you know, no matter what, this game could be going in a second. And last year, the game was taken away from me. So when I'm on that field, I give it my all. So I just want you to give your all for me, too. Last one. How does the preparation change going into next week's game against Syracuse? The preparation don't change. Continue to prep, um, prepare as the coaches want us to prepare. Um, continue to practice hard, watch a lot of film, and, and get, get back to work. It's the same preparation every week. Thanks, DeAndre. Thank you.